Good morning, and welcome to Flannel Hill Farm and Tool Talks with Brittany. Today, I wanted to make sure we got to this one before we used it, because I wanted to make sure that we talked about the additive I'm going to use. But, we're going to talk about chicken waterers. So, we're going to talk about the two that we're going to use um, this first time around. And the additive for the water. So, this one is from Roosties. We've talked about this one. You saw me get this one. Um, this is the one that they gave me to try out and review. So, when we get the chicks, hopefully we'll, we will definitely be talking about this one more. But, water comes out here. Um, this is the one that has legs on it, so you can raise it up as they get older so they don't get in there, make it dirty, and it is a 1.5 liter waterer. It also stands up on a flat surface so that you can fill up. This comes apart in two pieces, plastic, easy, clean, there's that one, and the best part is it's orange, which is my favorite color. So. This one is a little one. I don't even know how much this one is anymore. Um, but this one comes apart twisty. Fill it up. It's a jar so it sits up flat so that you can put it back on. Um, and then this one is the water comes out of this, fills it up. This one does not have legs because this one is dual purpose. So this side says for water, this side is for food. So you can actually use this as a waterer or a feeder with the same top depending on what you want to use it for. So we're going to use this as a waterer because we have feeders already. So this one we'll start using as a waterer. Maybe eventually we'll see how it works as a feeder. Um, same thing though, plastic, very clean. Not very many little nooks and crannies that you'd have to clean out. Very clean, very straight line, very just clean. We are going to be adding electrolytes into our chick water. This will help them this will help them after not drinking because we're going to get chicks the day of or the day after they hatch. So they're not going to have much to eat or drink when they arrive. I will show you how they arrive. We'll unbox them together. Um, but these just have, they're just an electrolyte mix for chicks. So I wanted to use this just to make sure that they get back up to par. So we'll probably use this with the first two um, fills of water. Probably do one pack, maybe, I don't even know. Mix a single packet. Oh, one gallon. So we'll probably only use one of these packs between the two of them. Um, and then we'll just use it till it's gone and then they'll go to back to straight water. So, waterers, you need them. Especially for chicks, I have the little nipples that you can put on like a five gallon bucket, but I was worried that that would be a lot. And something so new for chicks, this, just dip their beak in and they just know there's nothing standing in the way, there's nothing they have to hit with their beak to get water, there's no... So, that's why I went with these. Um, when we go, when they get older and we go with chickens, we're definitely going to do like a five gallon bucket thing that will be less of a daily fill. So this is what we're going to do for chicks. This is probably how I'll always do chicks unless I find something easier. Um, and we're going to see which one of these we like better. So... Why do you need water? Every living thing needs water. Chicks are very susceptible to getting sick, not getting what they need. You have to have everything very easily accessible to them. So, 
easily accessible waterers we have. Um, I don't know really the pros and cons to these. Like I said, this one's obviously a big pro. It's orange. Um, I like the leg idea for when they get bigger, especially the ones that gotta be in there a little longer. The laying chicks are gonna take a little longer to move outside. So the legs will be a good deal with those. I don't know which ones we're gonna put in with the, the meat birds and which one we're gonna put in with the laying birds, but we'll have to see. If you guys have an idea, a preference let me know if you guys have an idea let me know and we'll talk about it that's all i know so far until we know our pros and cons and until we use them that's all i got for you but a water water brewer for a chick is a must everything needs water i appreciate y'all